Hello everyone, uh, this is something a little bit different. I just thought I'd do a quick behind the scenes video uh, on the last short film that I made. Uh, so yeah, now this short film was filmed on my phone, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna call it camera just cause it's easier. One of the things that I wanted to do with this short film was actually get some proper camera movement in there. Cause for the last short film, the only way to, there was only a few shots with camera movement in and that was done by just hanging the camera out of a car and moving it but I thought that it needed a bit more movement and some more shots. Since I filmed these videos pretty much alone uh, all of the camera movement had to be done by me while I was on camera so I had to come up with some uh, stuff that would allow me to do that. Now what you're seeing here is the camera is on an arm made out of aluminium pipe which is attached to the tripod and it can swing around 360. This shot in particular took a few nights to just to get right as you can see different setups, different lighting, slightly different location and as you can see this is the original shot and this is the final version Now for other shots the camera is on a tripod which is on a set of wheels and it's held in place via a wooden block which acts as a brake and attached to that brake is a string so that when I pull the string uh, it releases the set of wheels which causes the, the set of wheels to move. Now this shot here, this shot was quite tricky as you can see it had to be in time with the camera moving as well as the steam and the fire which both of which I cannot see. The gun flash effects were done practically, uh, which were done usually like by lighting these sparklers on fire, these Halloween sparklers, or by just turning lights on and off really, really fast, or by just waving someone's hand in front of it. This is one of the few shots you had someone helping me. The reason this was done practically instead of in a computer is because it looks more realistic, you know, the, the way it lights up the environment and it lights up the rain. Another reason for that was because I cannot edit to save my life which is also the reason why even the title is real. That was done by just cutting the title out on pieces of paper and spray painting that paper black and then shining lights behind it, which you can tell because it doesn't look that great. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I know it's a bit of a short video, but I thought it'd be quite informative just to show. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to share. So thank you all for watching and take care.